What's up, guys? Good morning. 2 a.m. on the East Coast almost. What a night in the UFC. Unbelievable. We did pretty good with our picks. <laughs> we did pretty good. I think I still got my bean bag. I don't think it got chopped off. We only had a couple losses for the night. What a night it was. Subscribe to Nate's Live Talk, please. I do a lot of different content. Really enjoying this. I had a great time doing this tonight. I, I take it serious. Um, so please, I wouldn't be up this late if I didn't take it serious. Please subscribe. Diego Lopes beat Yusuf. We took Lopes. Turner. He lost. That was a loss. So we're one and one to Moicano. But he almost knocked him out in the, in the second round or first round. He, he hit him with a shot at the end of the round and the bell rang. And Drage won. Bobby Green won. Davidson Figueredo run. Harrison mauled home. Mauled her. She looked amazing. She's jacked, dude. She's jacked. Watch out for that girl. Aljamain looked great. Not cutting as much weight. Phenomenal. He almost power bombed Kata. <laughs> mauled him. Mauled him. I think he might have had double digit takedowns for the fight. Prahashka and uh, Rakic was a great fight. Great fight. Prahashka was really beat up. And Rakic was looking good. And Prahashka pulled the rabbit out of the hat with a knockout. It was the wild, one of the wildest pay-per-views I've ever seen in my life. Then we got Bo Nickel versus Brundage. Bo Nickel looked very good, finished him. But it was the first time he ever had a fight go outside the first round. So up to that point, Turner's our only loss. Charles Oliveira, Armin Tasajian. I think that's how you say it. Oliveira had him in trouble, man, but he just, he, the other guy, the guy Armin just did just enough. Just enough to get it, get the job done. Armin T. Tasajian, I gotta look it up. Um, so we got two L's. This is when it gets really wild. It was a great night of fights. This is a quick rundown because it's late. I want to get the info out and uh, get some rest and let you guys see the picks quick. So we got two L's once Oliveira loses. Gaethje Holloway. Amazing. Amazing, amazing fight. And it was weird because I was, I only have one loss. And I was looking around the Prohoshka fight, and it was saying that the, the that Gaethje and Holloway weren't going to fight on the internet, on Google. I'm not making excuses, this is just interesting. And I'm like, oh man, that fight's not going to go down. I'm like, what the hell? And then it, it, they end up fighting, it shows them walking in, this, that, and the other thing. They fight. And uh, Gaethje... Wanted to stand with Max Holloway, and he paid for it daily. One of the craziest knockouts I've ever seen in my life. The, Max Holloway looked unbelievable. Max Holloway looked like a character in Mortal Kombat tonight. Or Street Fighter, whatever one you want, man. It was flawless. Flawless victory, Max Holloway. Man, I'm sorry I underestimated you. So we got three L's there at that point. Dude, he called him to the center of the ring with like 15 seconds to go. And knocks him out. And that's how he like finishes guys all the time. It's like his call sign. It's his signature. He calls Justin Gaethje to the middle of the ring after he busted his nose. He was hitting him with like spinning back kicks all night. A funky one. Busting him. Catching him. I should have known Gaethje was gonna. He goes out swinging. And I said it. I go I want, I'm worried about Justin Gaethje getting hit so much. In his life, because like he, when he talks, and this isn't a shot, Justin, I love you, but when he talks, it sounds he sounds like he's taking damage, and it could just be his voice. I'm I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be offensive. I, I just I love the way you fight. It's amazing. And if he ever fought smarter, I think he just puts on a show and he loves it, man. 
And I, I love watching it. I just don't want to see him get <laughs> destroyed over it. I know it comes with the business, but man, he is a showman. And Holloway, I would not want to be the next guy that's going to fight Max Holloway. He looked so scary tonight. I've never, and I like Max Holloway a lot. I didn't think he would be able to handle Gaethje's power. I didn't. And he got Gaethje beat on his leg and everything. It didn't matter. Unbelievable. Call him up to the middle of the ring. Sorry. My teeth. Call him to the middle of the ring. With 10 seconds to go and starches him. Good night. Dude, he fell forward like a ton of bricks. Timber. Good night. So we got three L's. Dude, go check out the Holloway Gaethje ending. I never seen nothing like it until not this fight, the Way Lee fight. The the way this thing ended tonight, I've never seen nothing like it. It makes me wonder because the W WE's involved with the UFC now. Dude. The way this thing ended, you won't believe when you see it. So then you got Wei Li versus Yan Jing Li, or Jean, I can't, Jean Nan. Wei Li pulled it out, Barista. She is a monster in the championship rounds. Just grappled her, almost choked her out. Three L's, Pereira versus Hill. Crazy walkout, scary. Dude, it's going good. It's like a couple minutes into the first round. Herrera looks good. But Hill's throwing. He doesn't look afraid of him. But um, Herrera is moving forward and controlling distance. And uh, he's controlling distance. And he was like, he just coming forward. Hill kicks him in the nuts, like taps his cup. You can hear it and everything. And they go to give him time. As Herb Dean goes to step in to give him time. Pereira goes like this, puts his hand out like, I'm good. Next punch he throws, knocks him out cold. Like, I'm good. Whap. Good night. Pereira KO victory. Watch the Pereira KO. Watch the Gaethje. Holloway KO. Phenomenal night of fights. We won everything. Let's see our losses. Turner. Let's see. I'll run him down. Diego Lopez, we won. Turner, we lost. Andrade, we won. Bobby Green, we won. Davidson Figueredo, we won. Harrison, we won. Aljo, we won. Prohashka, we won. Bo Nickel, we won. We lost Oliveira. We lost Gaethje. And that was it. We won Whaley and Pereira. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ten out of thirteen. Not a bad night. Not a bad night. Not a bad night. And I want to give a shout out to um, Mark Coleman. What a what a courageous man. Uh, Ex-UFC fighter. Saved his family in a fire. It was there tonight. Shout out to Mark Coleman. Tip your cap to you, man. And he, he lost his dog in it. He was there smiling, just happy to be alive with his family. Wild. I love the shit, man. The sports, the videos. I'm really having fun with it. Having a great time. Love you guys. That's the rundown for tonight. Uh, we'll do something tomorrow. We got Sunday Fun Day. Please like, share, subscribe. Nate's Live Talk.